We talked earlier today about a bill, actually a over, motion to override, that was bad for small business in this state. And here we are again, another shot at the Illinois business climate. We just raised taxes last year on every business and every family in this state. We took an income tax that was once one of the few things we could point at as an advantage that Illinois had over other states. And now we've taken that to one of the worst and now we're trying to make it apparently the very worst. Please keep in mind that we already have among the highest property taxes in the country. And if you're a business owner, these are things that matter because you have to pay them in order to be in business. This gives you another reason to not look at Illinois when it comes to how you prepare your business. It's been discussed so far, these comparisons to neighboring states. Well, if you're a small business owner, you look at neighboring states, you're looking at not just what we pay in income taxes, you're looking at what we pay in those property taxes and work comp costs and litigation potentials. All those things make a difference. All those things hurt our ability to compete at a time when we desperately need to compete for jobs. Desperately need to compete for jobs. Before I got here, I thought the term fair tax actually was referring to a, a book I read a few years ago about the consumption tax, which actually is a fair tax, not an income tax. By no means did anyone ever at that time anticipate you could call a progressive income tax a fair tax. But here we are in Illinois trying to pull that off. Remember, Illinois already has for families the highest local and state tax burden in the country, according to some measures, and here we are not helping them. So in light of what was done earlier today with calculators, my good friend Representative Martwick had brought up his calculator. I went and got myself a bigger calculator, one that has enough zeros to show how much debt we have, and one that might actually explain how under a set of rates that were published before, I think they've been withdrawn, but they're still out there. The only set I can find in our analysis of what a progressive income tax might look like in this state. But the analysis on that with a fancy calculator shows it is gonna raise taxes on 77% of Illinois taxpayers. That's too many zeros, too many dodges for me. We cannot support this. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.